Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, SimUK here, and we're back in the Sim Shack. It's very late at night. We're going to take a look at uh, a brand new game. You know how to, how I like to support indie developers. This one has caught my interest, and the devs have sent over a copy for me to take a look at. It's called Gasolinas. Let me just switch you over to um, desktop. There we go. Uh, you can see Gasolinas came out on 16th of April 2024. It's only £5.89, okay? So we're not talking a lot of money. Now, you look at it, you might think, hmm, yeah, it doesn't look like much. I'm not really impressed with that. It hasn't really ticked any boxes for me. But this is a physics-driven, high-octane, admittedly arcade racer, where you'll drift, tune, and race to the top of the global leaderboards. Now, if I told you... Uh, if I asked you, rather, how many gigs you think this game was, you probably would think, I don't know, less than two, less than one, maybe. It's actually nine gigs in size. It's got single-player, online PvP, LAN PvP, um, loads of Steam achievements, Steam Cloud syncing, family sharing, and it works for the next box controller. Um, so I think this could be quite interesting, um, it's not going to replace things like Assetto Corsa Competizione or anything like that, but I still think it could be quite good. Let's jump in and take a look. Do you want your name and results to be sent to the leaderboards? Yes. I'm a bit worried about the music, because obviously we get into trouble for having music on. I drag that down. I have to. Yeah, we're gonna just turn the music off. I I imagine the soundtrack is phenomenal. Um, flipping games. It's determined to get me <laughs> a copyright adjustment of some sort. Right. So we're playing in 4K. Not sure why it's not being recognised, but anyway, there we are. Language is English. Um, game settings, understeer, assistance, hmm, no. Automatically unflip the car. I better leave that on because I don't know what the button is to do that otherwise. Race course guideline, hmm, no. Show player avatars yet. Send results to leaderboard, yes, okay. So there's a cheat sheet down there. In the Gasolinas, each session has its own leaderboard code. It is created according to the parameters of the race server. Therefore, you will compete not only with your own results, but also with other players from all over the world. The, the race result in the leaderboard is recorded after each lap. So the number of laps does not affect the leaderboard. Okay. Okay. How do I do this then? Challenges, quick race, create a server, servers, garage, experience, control, settings... Something's loading. Something is loading. Session creation failed. Okay. All right, then. Can I just go to challenges? Click on this one. Unlimited NOS. Right. Oh, my God. Um, so, a bit of an estate car there. I can't imagine that's going to be the fastest. If I can go to the garage, what can I change? The Bayer, the Rossa, the Magnum. Oh, I like the look of the Magnum. The Gamma. Are there any sort of performance differences? You've got, like, front height, so you can adjust the suspension. I'm going to put it as low as possible, obviously. Uh, front stiffness, I would say quite stiff. Rear stiffness, quite stiff. Uh, maybe two... Maybe one notch less on the rear front wheel tilt ah so you can corner a bit harder i'm going to put a smidge of tilt on the back differential lock change the rims oh they're worse oh i like them we'll go with them color are these the only colors i have right now 
I was going to say British Racing Green, but that is not British Racing Green. Let's start again with red then. Right, fastest wins. The game will start when all players are ready. Okay, how am I supposed to know where the hell I'm going? Too far from the course. Uh, restart. Where's the course? Is this the course? Too far from the course. Okay, I'm confused already. Let's end that session. So, the UI and the menu are awful. I have to say that because it's true. Uh, I'm not liking that at all. It's about as intuitive as um, molecular physics. Um, what are these things? Let's not do that. Let's do a quick race. That's not a good start. Okay, this looks a bit more like it. All right. Oh, it's a bit twitchy, but it is physics led. I've, I've made the back end too, too sturdy, unfortunately. The front is twitchy as hell, and the back is really, really sticky. I kind of got them back to front. Plus, I don't appear to be drifting. Uh, there was proper physics there. There really was some physics there. No damage, it looks like. Can you just cheat, I wonder? I nearly got a drift on there, but it just wouldn't go. Is cheating acceptable? I, I like this kind of road. There's a road like this that um, the Grand Tour went down. Oh, Christ. It's on my to-do list now. <laughs> the outside of the barrier. Oh, God. That's the auto flip over when you flip thing. Okay. Whoa! I kind of feel like that was a trap. There should be, like, some sort of... ...indication that a corner is coming up. <clears throat> I'm well stuck. Um, okay, let's go back to garage. Let's make the rear stiffness down by two, front stiffness, stiffness up by two. Uh, front wheel tilt. We'll bring that up by two, drop the rear one by one. Okay, leave the garage and restart. It says... Okay, I've got a bit of a problem here. Oh, okay, my time is on the right. Okay. All right, let's restart again. That's better. We've got the balance a bit better on the car now. Oh! Oh, wow, well, I'll tell you what, the brakes are good. I 
I'm not getting any drift though, but you can see I've got a lot more control mm -mm, over the car, he says, driving into the wall. I say the reflections on the bonnet, they're kind of nice. Totally skipped this entire section last time. Right, <clears throat> I'm not getting the... Um... It's like, if I was racing an Inseto Corsa, I, <clears throat> I would have this drifting and power sliding by doing what I'm doing. And it's just not doing it. If anything, the grip is too good. And normally in arcade games, it's kind of the other way around. Well, not always, I suppose. Depends what the game is trying to achieve, but... This has so much grip. Let me put it this way. You know if you drive rally games, and you've got a, um, a gravel section, and then you get on tarmac? It's the difference there. But this is like tarmac on glue. It's like the tar is still sticky and wet. It's like the front end is doing the drifting instead of the back end. I've got a tiny bit of drift there. Just like a s tiny smidge. It's starting to grow on me. Uh, I, I was heading towards a big fat hell no. But now that I've got the car sort of behaving a bit better, a bit better. I'm starting to kind of enjoy the thrill of the speed of the... I forgot. I knew that was coming up. And I didn't want to do the same thing, and I did anyway. A bit disappointed with myself. Oh no, don't get caught on that again. That's what I did last time. Oh, nuggets. All right, we'll have one more go at this. Maybe, maybe have a look at one more track. And see if we can't find something a, a bit better, perhaps. So that was that was a tiny bit of drift there. But the way that you instigate it is nothing like... I can't do it now. It's really hard to do a, a drift. I know it's an arcade game. But it's like, in order to drift, you have to over, oversteer. I know that's... Oh, wow, look at that. Actually got airborne that time. Oh, my God. Right, one last proper go. And then we'll have a, no no a look at another track or something. I would like to get to the end of this track if I could. See, I'm starting to remember parts of the track. It's just the controls that I'm struggling with, really. Slightly airborne, again. Indicates that I am, perhaps, getting a little bit faster. You see how the front end is snapping in before the back end kicks out. I've improved it with those changes we made. Oh, nuggets. I improved it with the changes we made, but it's still doing it. When you get a run going, it's kind of fun. I I've got to say, I'm... Kind of digging the challenge. I feel like maybe tweaking it in the garage you might be able to get it to handle more realistically. But it, it may not be the case. It might it might actually be that the devs need to 
tweak the physics in order to make that happen and you know there's no guarantee that they're a listening or be interested in doing that but and of course it could just be this car this particular vehicle not this time baby that's the only time that I've needed to use the brakes just then There's loads of little traps if you try and shortcut the corners. But I don't think there's any sort of corner cutting system in place. So, you know, if you can get away with it, do it. As long as you go through those barriers, it very much seems okay. This is kind of cool, isn't it? See, look at that. It, it, there are physics in the game. The car was coming off the ground, which meant I couldn't steer. There was no, no none of this. You can turn... Whilst you're airborne rubbish, like, you know, some arcade games. It's a proper physics-led game. Oh, and it's even got a ghost. God, I was slow. Look how much I'm catching myself up. Oh, <laughs> I didn't let off the accelerator that time, though. I tell you what, the more I play it, the more I like it. It's weird. For the first five minutes there, I really didn't like this game. There was nothing positive I could think of saying about it. And I was like, oh no, this is disappointing. Having picked it up at the beginning... Come on, Slowpoke. Having picked it up at the beginning to then be completely disappointed by it. This is kind of cool. Now, I'm not really an arcade racer. If someone said, would you rather play this or a set of course of competition, I'm sorry, but this wouldn't get a look in. But if a bunch of friends were playing this and they said, do you want to play? I'd be like, yeah, sure. Because it's good, it's fun, it's challenging. And you can pull off some absolutely kick-ass moves, I think. That's the one corner you got to watch out for on this track. All the rest of them, easy. Easy to deal with, but that one corner there, it's a killer. And you can shortcut that corner, because I've done it twice now. <laughs> Definitely arcade physics, but physics nonetheless. And I can work with physics. I can get, I can get into physics. It feels a bit like WRC, but not quite as realistic, if that makes sense. Oh, that was a nasty hit of the tree. Oh, no, I'm the wrong side of this. Oh, no, I've just overtaken myself. I'm stuck. Okay. I'm stuck behind the scenes. Look. Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think I can get back on the track. Oh, no. I was totally going to smash my time as well. I'm so, I'm so stuck. Is there a handbrake? Oh, there's boost. And there are different camera views, but no internal car. Right, there is a handbrake as well. Let's have one more go. Now that I know there's a handbrake. That could help the whole power sliding thing. See, look at that. I got the car a bit squirrely. And then uh, my uh, my ghost overtook me. Oh. Didn't lift off quick enough.
Yeah, I'm not taking the handbrake. If anything, it... I mean, it acts like a handbrake. But the weird physics that they've got going on is actually quicker. That. It's kind of like a handbrake turn without using the handbrake. That's the only way I can describe that. Whereas if you actually use the handbrake, it then becomes less useful. It slows you down. Oh, come on. I could do better than this. This is what gets you in games like this. It's, it's that... Oh, I, I, could do, I could do that better. Oh, God. I can do that better. It's knowing that you could beat your own times. This is what started racing games. They were all like this. Well, not like this, but... You know. This kind of philosophy. Oh, wow. And whilst this is a gameplay review, I can't get too caught up playing the game. You know, I've got to uh, try different things out, try different maps. Oh, no. Got away with it. Got away with it. And I'm not using the NOS. Bloody lethal. the hell happened there? Oh, I don't know. Let's go back to the menu. Let's go back to the menu. God, my mouse keeps disconnecting. So, uh, I've gone from level 0 to level 14. Car mileage, 350. Maximum speed, 269. Uh, unused credits, 14. Colour roulette. What does that mean? Ah, so I've got a new colour. And that cost me... So I, I used quite a few credits to get some colours. Okay, so we'll see how that works. Um, should we try challenges again? It says Lava Pit Get Out. Okay, so... Haruna track, reverse, hills track, wind condition, skate park grind. You can see the picture behind slightly. Aqua tube beta. Oh, that sounds interesting. Let's try this one. Uh, I'm ready. I'm so confused about where I'm supposed to be going. Wow, look at that whale up there. Am I not supposed to be in the tube? I am so confused by this. There are like... There are, there are bits in this game that I totally, totally don't go, don't get at all. Um, right. Uh, garage. Can I buy a new car? No, leave the garage. Um, I am confused. Right. So, these are the leaderboards. Popularity, 75%. Donut City. Oh, hang on. Isle of Man. Oh, I want to try that one. Isle of Man. Okay, quick race. Do I not get to pick the track? Wow, look at the weather conditions. Uh, let's just jump in. I can't see a bloody thing. Let's 
stick to the little yellow line. <laughs> okay. Wet weather makes your car behave very differently. All that lovely grip I had, gone. Doesn't exist. Turn a corner. You're out of here, buddy. You are slippy, slidy meat. Literally, literally following the yellow lines. I'm doing the yellow brick road manoeuvre. Whoa. Oh, what? I wasn't... Okay, now I've gone off the edge of the track into the middle of nowhere. That's a bit disappointing. Okay. I really want to do the Isle of Man track, but how do I do that? How do I find that track? Create server, let's try that. Track. Isle of Man. Bomb. Time limit 15. Classic. Turbo's off. Best time. Four laps. Collisions between players. Yes. Alright, this could save the game. Why is it raining? That wasn't this track, was it? No, this is a different track. It's just that the weather conditions are absolutely appalling. I was half expecting this to be like a recreation of TT Isle of Man. And maybe it's meant to be, I don't know, but it, at the moment, there is absolutely zero similarity Surely if I created this server, I can turn off the weather. Hang on. I'm struggling with this game a little bit. When you find a decent track, and you're able to drive it, it, it's a lot of fun. I'm not kidding you. It is enjoyable. It's that it's really captured the driving fast trying to control the car thing really really well. But the UI and the interface, the menu and the UI, um, not 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 good at all. <laughs> really bad. So when I click on quick race, it just. Right, so I'm on the Isle of Man. Time of day, cloudiness. Oh, there we go. Right, we'll have it dry as a bone then. 24 hour. Two o'clock in the afternoon. One minute 35. Coin, coin master. One minute 35. Let's see if I can beat that. I'm ready. That's a bit better, isn't it? I can see a bit better. Right, we've actually got his ghost. How did he get such an acceleration there? I feel cheating is uh, happening. Or maybe that's his second lap. One minute 35 to beat. So it can't be that long a track, can it? I'm kind of cheating a bit. I don't know if he is as well, or whether he's staying on the on the road better than I am. Ooh, flipping hell. I 
I knew. I just knew we were going to get airborne there. Look, he's not a million miles away from me. He's just there. He's still in sight. If he's in sight, I can catch him. Definitely took a side swipe there. Or maybe you use NOS. That's maybe that's how he went so fast. So this is almost like I get the impression it's like here's the game. There we go, there we go. He's still miles ahead of me, isn't he? Right from the very get-go. Must have a faster car. Oh, is that him right in front of me then? I nearly had the pucker. Crashed at exactly the same point I did last time. Wow. Took that one full to the face. I caught up with myself. Oh, God. Going in the grass really slows you down. Massively slows you down. Yeah, it kind of feels like, you know, these are custom-made maps. And that's what we're racing on. And anyone can come up with a map. Which in itself is kind of cool. And back in the day when I was a kid, I would have... I would have jumped at that. I would have found that really entertaining. Let's have one more go. Look how quick he is off the go. This car's way faster than mine. Oh, whoops. Uh, restart. Damn it, I was quite quick on my first go, wasn't I? But he went off the track there, so he's making mistakes as well. In fact, he was lucky that he went off the track there, because he meant that he wasn't going to hit that barrier that I keep hitting. God, he's disappeared. He's right there, look. But his car's faster than mine. Well, that sucks. Why has he got a faster car than me? It's almost like I've got no chance. It's beating. Says me driving across the grass. Do you see what I mean? It's it's got a little something something, isn't it?
The only way I can catch him is if I don't make mistakes when he does, like that there. But look how much quicker he is than me. How did he get all the way over there that quick? I even got caught up by myself. That's appalling. I was obviously off the track too much. But there he is again, right in front of me again. Okay. I've given it 35 minutes. There are definitely things that I like. There are definitely things that I don't like. I don't like the UI. I don't like the menus at all. Some of the tracks... Some of the tracks I kind of like. Some of the tracks I really don't like. Um... I just want to try one more. Euro Bergen Ring. Let's try that. Big load in. Let's try a different car. Whoops. How is Koi Master 563 meters ahead of me already? I think Koi Master's cheating. I think Koi Master's the developer and he's he's got some special buttons. So I'm saying that, like, people are making these tracks and uploading them. If that was the case, there would have to be a track editor. Uh, so I should have a look for that in a second. And see if there is one. And if there isn't, then maybe that's not how these tracks are made. I don't know. Whoa, going off the edge of the track. It's not a lot of money. And... Depending on your preference towards arcade games or realistic simulator driving games, I think there's a bit of fun to be had here. Um, I knew there was a corner coming up, I just couldn't figure out which way it was going. See, this is a bit more racetracky with the tyres. I kind of like that more. And whilst there are physics, they are not realistic physics by any means. Um, but that saved my ass quite a few times. you notice that there's no indication of a corner coming up or anything like that. It's very much a get in and go and just deal with it sort of thing. whole bunch of different textures and buildings and stuff all over the place. Kind of crazy almost. It's interesting. Why is that in the middle of the road? It's, uh... What the hell is this thing? It's quirky as hell. It's one of those projects where you'd say, you know, if they really got serious about it and I'm still not sure about the physics, but let's say they tweaked the physics a little bit to be just slightly more realistic so that the back end and the front end are behaving a bit more as you would expect from a proper race car I think uh, uh, they could really do something with this game 
But equally, and people will argue, and quite rightly so, it's just a lot of sort of um, free textures and models slung together. But it, actually, it isn't. It's it's more than that. There is something here. The whole driving physics system does exist. It is a thing. And I, I genuinely believe you can make some really good, interesting tracks uh, with all this. I mean... All the weirdness aside... Like, you could possibly copy some real-world tracks and have a bit of fun with this. I, th I genuinely think so, anyway. Would I pay... Now, this is what it boils down to. It's not about how much it costs, because £5... Someone, you know, £5 is a lot of money. To another person, it isn't. So it doesn't really matter about how much it costs. It's about... Is it a good game? And I've got to say, it's got a certain charm about it. But would I personally go out and buy this? I don't think I would, but then... I was enticed by the physics element of it, and they're not quite up to the sort of level I was hoping they would be at. Have I gone around this track more than once? I have no idea. Um, but it, it's kind of fun. It's... You know, there are moments when the car is getting a little bit squirmy and you're able to control it and tweak it and sort of kick it back into the shape and angle that you want it to be. And that's what that's what you do with a proper race car. So it's definitely got a little something and something. It definitely, it's, it's like the physics... I tell you what it feels like. It feels like the physics on the front should be on the back. Uh, the physics on the front wheel should be on the back wheels, and the physics on the back wheel should be on the front. That's kind of what it feels like. Now, maybe it's just this car. Maybe it's the way I've got it set up. I don't know, but... It's like normally you step the back end out and then you sit it down and you power through. Well, it's, it doesn't kind of work that way. It's going the other way. So you, you, you're powering through the, the the front and the back end is sitting still. I, I don't know. It's it's weird. It, it kind of works. I mean, once you get... It's, it's, like dry, it's like jumping into a Porsche for the first time. And you're like, well, hang on a minute. This doesn't turn in. It doesn't do anything and then you play with it a bit and then it's like wow all this does is over rotate and then it's like do you know what i mean there's a transition period between getting in it and actually being able to drive it um and it's kind of like that i'm just keen to have a decent lap time Koi Master did it in 4 minutes and 24 seconds. How much time have I done it in? He's got a faster car than me as well, which I don't understand. Why does he have a faster car than I do? Or is it, do you think, that the ghost is just... No, it can't be that. I was going to say, do you think the ghost is deliberately a couple of seconds ahead of you so that you've got something to chase? It's, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> when you're learning a racetrack for the first time, it's about remembering the next corner that comes up. But on this game, it's about... Oh, I remember those tyres. Oh, I remember that donut. Oh, I remember that large, obscure quaver. Um, crisp, or whatever the hell it is meant to be. Again, very arcadey in nature.
And I could be wrong, but I think the sun is actually going down. I think the... It feels like it's getting a little bit darker. Right, here come those weird quavers I was just talking about. So we know there's some tight corners down here, so I can be more ready for them this time. There you go, much cleaner. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? There's definitely a, a learning curve in a... and a control system that exists here. It's not completely awful. It really isn't completely awful. I'm enjoying pushing this car to the limit. Well, when I get it right, I am, anyway. I would love to beat Koi Master. But I think he's... Uh, I don't know how he's got a quicker car, but I think he has a much faster car. Let's cheat and just cut the corner a bit there. That really sucks the speed out of your car doing that. So in some areas, it may well be that cutting a corner is faster. I don't know where the start finish is. How many times do I have to go round? So I've just travelled 100 kilometres. I can't get the power slide working. Oh, did I miss that one? I think I missed that one. But it doesn't seem to have, like, punished me for missing it. Definitely getting better. So I'm miles off his time then. I'm at 4 minutes 35 and I haven't even reached the end yet. 4 minutes 40. Ah, I was looking at the time and not the car. Oh, I'm proper wedged in there now. Oh. Does the game act? No, the game doesn't have damage physics, does it? But it looks like I've proper smashed my wheels up. They still turn. Okay, so it's just it's just that the suspension has been collapsed underneath the thing. Whoa. Okay, X seems to restart the game. <laughs> I think we'll end it on that note. Um, I gave it 49 minutes. I think that's a pretty good first look review. Um, there's, there's something here. There really is something here. And maybe I'm the wrong age group. Maybe I'm 
maybe this game would be better suited for arcadey players. Um, but I hate the UI and the menu system. I find that absolutely awful. Uh, I find it really confusing and I don't like it at all. But when you get a bit of a track going and you've got a decent track to race on um, and you've got some sort of control over the car, it, it's kind of fun. It really is fun, genuinely. It, it feels like you're proper racing um, in a very arcadey kind of way. Do I recommend it? Mm. If you're an arcade player or you don't mind playing arcade games, then yes. If you're hoping for something a bit more realistic, then probably not. Uh, best thing to do, there is a demo I've just spotted. Um, so log in uh, and have a look at the demo if you want to have a look at the game. My bloody mouse keeps going off. windows shutting down my um peripherals so oh you haven't used the mouse for five seconds let me turn it off for you um how do i go back to main menu right let's just have a look look at that level 26 already um let's just waste all my color things look at that, loads of colors now okay good um see i was thinking maybe you could buy a new car or something but i don't i don't see any option to do that it looks like these are the only cars that are there um look at all these colors i've got now that's kind of cool uh yeah i don't see an in-game track builder so let's go back to desktop and let's just see if there is a so there's a discord server you can log in there and have a look um i don't see any sign of mods no so then maybe 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 you cannot uh create tracks yourself i could be wrong there auto dallies let's have a look at their other games so it's just this game insert no coins they've got a couple of games okay well uh do you know what it's it, there's definitely something good about it not sure i'd jump on it though over 10 different environments and more than 30 race tracks in the garage you can tweak suspension differential lock and paint you off for the perfect driving machine a drift system chain drifts boost your multiplier and beat the competition i couldn't get a drift going for toffee Online play, join or create your own server and drive together with your friends. In Gasolinus, each session has its own leaderboard code. Car dynamics, air roll key assignments, control the car's orientation when the wheels are off the ground. What? Roll and pitch. Uh, okay, that's... I didn't even get into that. That's moving even further away from what I was hoping it would be, to be totally honest with you. Um... The turbo key activates the car's boosted power and pushes it with such force that under the right circumstances, the car can lift from the surface. Mastering these features will let you adjust your car mid-air for a perfect landing or a lift-off. Okay, okay. <sighs> it's not a bad game, Gasolinus. Uh, and for £5.89, they're not asking the earth for it. But... On this occasion, I'm going to say I don't recommend it. Uh, there's too many things here that don't tick the boxes for me personally. Um, so if you're into like simulation and you wanted it to be like sort of semi-realistic but fun. See, that looks really cool, doesn't it? Some of the tracks look fantastic and I, maybe I just couldn't find them. And some of them are kind of cool, but... Yeah, it's, it's not quite where I 
would need it to be. I can't recommend people buy this based on the experience I've had today. But at the same time, I don't think it's a terrible game. There, I definitely enjoyed it. Um, and there are definitely some elements in there which I think, if tweaked, could um, be even better still. But anyway, that was just my, my two pennies worth. Um, you know, I'm not an influencer. I'm not trying to influence you to buy it. I'm not trying to influence you not to buy it. I am merely showing you the game. And uh, hopefully, based on what you've seen and what you've heard, you can make your own mind up. That's pretty much what we want to do here. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.